Okay, chapter six, government action. The governments intervene in markets by way of price controls, minimum prices and maximum prices. For example, if the market is in equilibrium, the government can impose a minimum price. In other words, a price floor. This is a minimum price, and that means the quantity supplied is here and the quantity demanded is there. And that means there will be a surplus. The best example of this is a minimum wage, where the price, where the wage for the workers cannot fall below the minimum wage, and therefore it creates a surplus of workers. We call that unemployed. Okay? The other form of price control is a maximum price. If the market is in equilibrium, the government can step in and set a maximum price set below the equilibrium and thereby reduces the quantity supplied, increases the quantity demanded, and the result is shortage. And in the shortage situation, we will have a black market. When there are not enough units supplied by the market, people will seek to get those units by way of paying more in the underground economy, which is the black market. As you can see, if we set the price at Pmax, the quantity produced by the firms is right here. But at this quantity, people are willing to pay, go to the demand curve, this price. And we'll call this the black market price. Once again, if you set the price ceiling at this point, the units produced, supplied, will be this much, and there'll be a shortage. What will happen is, with these many units on the market, people are willing to pay that price there. That's the black market price. Let's try a question. Past test question. Diagram looks like this. Question is, if we're at D1, so you gotta look over here, if we're at D1 and there is a rent ceiling, that's a maximum price of 150 bucks. So here's your maximum price of 150. What is the highest rent that would be charged in the black market? Once again, if you set a ceiling at 150, the units produced will be at the supply curve. That's the quantity supplied. At this quantity supplied, you have to then look to the demand curve to find what they're willing to pay, which is 200, and that 200, answer C, is the black market price. As you can see, the black market price is higher than the ceiling price. That means that the firms could actually make a profit if they were willing to do something illegal. And that's why in the real world you see the people who sell things in the black market are making lots of money. Scalpers is one example. Drug dealers is another example. This is economics, and that's how you can see the idea of black markets caused by price ceilings.